There you go. There you go. Can you guys hear me? Ooh. <laughs> So guys, this is my first Beauty Boss, and I am so happy to be here. I have talked to most of you, but have not met you in person, so that it has been really great <laughs> to meet and to see a lot of you in person. If you have the time, please, and you have not talked to me already, please pull me aside. I really want to get to know all of you, um, talk to you a little bit more about how to enhance your business, but also to meet your revenue goals. And if you've talked to me already, you know I'm big on goals and, <laughs> and making sure that um, you know what your bottom line is, right? You know, you have this equipment, they sell it to you, and you're like, okay, we're all excited, but we have to put some strategic planning in place to make sure that we are making some revenue so that we can buy more devices and have more solutions, right? So please pull me aside if you haven't already. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about uh, challenges in aesthetics, but uh, competing with the competition. And if you've talked to me already, you know that I'm gonna tell you to focus on your own paper, literally. Focus on your business because that's how you're gonna compete with the competition. So the first, is, uh, the first tip is differentiate your uh, services. Identify that unique thing that your staff has, that you have, whether it's a unique uh, treatment offering, a combination. If you're uh, a dental spa, focusing on creating great smiles. If you are an OBGYN and you have a VVR, a VFR, and a VST, and you're focused on mommy makeovers, whatever that unique thing is that you have, focus on that and enhance that. Focus on creating exceptional customer experiences. So from the first time that they talk to uh, your front staff uh, till they're uh, done with their treatment and you're doing follow-ups, make sure that that entire, I call it a customer journey, but make sure that that journey for your customers is exceptional. Staying up to date with industry trends. So coming to events like this, workshops, but making sure that you know uh, the latest and the greatest in technology so that you're able to compete Developing a strong online presence. So if, again, if you've talked to me, you know that I'm always talking to you about making sure that your website is optimized. If you have a VST or a VFR and I am going to your website, I should be able to find that treatment that I'm looking for. If it's skin tightening that I'm looking for, I should be able to find that on your website in two to three clicks. I should not be you know, combing your website to look for what I need. And if I have to spend maybe five minutes on your website, I'm, I'm off to, to the next MedSpa's website. So just making sure that, you're, um, that you have a strong online presence, but that you are also le leveraging social media. I know Aliyah is gonna be talking about that tomorrow, but posting strategic content. You know, marketing, and excuse my language, but marketing used to be just throwing a bunch of shit at the, at the wall and seeing what sticks. It's not that anymore. We have to be way more thoughtful and strategic about how we're approaching social media. And you'll learn all about that tomorrow from Malia. But um, enhancing your marketing strategy and building relationships. So again, with the SEO, uh, email marketing campaigns, I know a lot of you hate email marketing, but if it's email marketing that you hate, Text marketing also works too. So just making sure that you're also building those relationships with your clients, um, providing the useful aftercare, follow-up services, uh, the text blast, of course, like I mentioned, and personalized messages to um, help them follow up their appointments and new services that you're offering. And the last is one that um, I don't feel is stressed enough and that is the external marketing. And what I mean by external marketing is credentialing yourself as professionals. Now, it's, I know it's a digital age and we're all about the Facebook ads and Google ads and those are great things and I've talked to some of you about this today, but hosting your own workshops, okay, getting published, 
um, doing speaking engagements, doing podcasts. Those are the things that are going to be organic and authentic, and it's going to spread the word about not only you, but your business. So I think just focusing on these areas, that's what's going to put you ahead of the competition. And you don't really have to worry so much about the spa down the street because you're, in, you're, you're enhancing your own business authentically by implementing some of these tips and tricks. And what's great is that we have resources already, some of which have been talked about today, to help you do all of these seven things. So please reach out to me, reach out to Aaliyah, Devin, Kara, um, if you want additional help with some of these things. Of course, book a call with me. Um, I'm really excited to help you all, so thank you.